So you're probably wondering, oh my goodness, how do I get this makeup look? Well, in this video, I will tell you how. So now we'll go to past me because she will explain it to you. We got a little kitty guest appearance. So I already put my hair rollers in because this is a makeup video, not a hair roller video. So we start off with this blush in the color Dulce Pink. And I use this makeup brush, which I don't know where this is from. I think it was a gift. But I just put it on my cheeks like this. Just put it on your cheeks. I like to add a lot because I just like the look of that. So once it's the way that you want it to be, I go in with this highlighter, the Revlon Skin Lights in Daybreak Glimmer. And I use just one of these little highlighter brushes. And then I put some on my nose and then on my cheekbones. <laughs> adds that extra sparkle. Oh yeah, I don't go in with foundation because I don't like the way it looks. Maybe it's because I haven't found a good enough foundation for me, but I just don't like going in with it. I get my CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus Liquid Liner. So we're gonna do some eyeliner. This might be hard to do in a camera. I'm gonna do it in the mirror. There's just no way I can do it in the camera. But what you're gonna do is you're just gonna do a straight o'clock. Fuck, <laughs> no, are you serious? God damn it, you're not gonna do it. But if you do mess up, just gonna make a wipe and wipe it off. What you're gonna do is with your eyeliner, you're gonna just do a straight across line on both sides. So it should look something like this. And then what I like to do is with my, since I have like a little crease in my eyes, I'll put a dot where I want it to be. I raise my eyebrows like this so I can go down on both sides from the dots. So it should look something like this. Then I go in from right here and I connect it to the dot without raising my eyebrows like this. And then I raise them and I connect that part like this. Get it to the other side. And then you're just gonna wanna fill them in. This is how it looks. I don't like that part right there because whenever I was showing you how to do the dots I messed it up so I'm just gonna go in with this and like you can use your finger like this to try to get it perfect you can also go in with a q-tip to fix up your mistake this is not perfect because I'm doing it on camera so makeup just doesn't look perfect all the time next you're gonna want to go underneath here like that and do it on the other side now we're gonna add the little lashes underneath I guess they're not lashes, but points like that. And then repeat. I am not the best at doing the bottom lashes. Some people can do them perfectly. I don't know how. Then I go in with my pink liquid eyeliner and I'm gonna go under here, 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 and here like that. And then do it to the other side. So then I get my pink liner and I'll, I put shapes under my eyes sometimes. They, they change, but I'm gonna do a star and a heart. And then I do two dots, side of the heart, repeat on the other side. Then I go in with this specific eyeliner, which is the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Liner. Do a little heart on the inside and a star on the inside, like this. And then I do two dots outside of it, the inside of it. It's on the outside, but it's on the inside. And then I go in with this little brush, go back in with my highlighter, and then I do my inner corner of my eye. Then I go in with my NYX Jumbo White Eye Pencil. If you can't handle eye pulling, skip to this part of the video. And usually whenever you get this, it'll have a point, but since I've used it so much, you, and you can just go like this. Instead of just doing this, since it's run down, I get the back of this and I get some of it in there like that. And then I pull it down and put it on my waterline. This doesn't hurt even though it looks like it does. This probably isn't the best to do every day. I think it might be bad for your eyesight, but whatever you wanna do. This is a small paintbrush, but I use it as a makeup brush. I go in with my palette. This palette, it, the pink that's in there on this brush and I go under my eye right here. Well, 
like so and sometimes i kind of like go out here a little bit now it's time for the freckles there's two different ways you can do this what i usually do is i use this freck thing which is what i'm going to be doing today but another thing you can do is go in with some eyebrow gel since i bought it but i don't like eyebrow gel i can just use it for this and then i get the little paintbrush and i go on the sides of it and then you tap and then you're gonna press down. But that's an alternate method. The method I'm gonna be using is by using this little freck stick. So you just tap it on. Just random places. And then you tap it with your finger to make it look more natural. And then I'm just gonna finish doing that around my whole face. This is almost done. I should say almost out. Now that all your freckles are done, there's a key thing you gotta do, which I sometimes forget, which is bad. But usually I use Sky High Maybelline Mascara. However, it's out. So I'm using L'Oreal Paris's Voluminous Carbon Black. And this is a good look to where you can do fake eyelashes. I'm just afraid of fake eyelashes ripping out my real eyelashes. I just use mascara, but on special occasions, I will use fake eyelashes. Coat your eyelashes with a mascara. Oh my goodness gracious. It's all right, if you mess up, there's always a solution. Let's make up wipes or makeup remover, whatever you use, or honestly water could work. And get your bottom eyelashes. It's in my eye. It's fine. And then got your lipstick. I don't know what lipstick this is, but this is the color. I really don't know what it's from. Oh, it says color design, love it, cream. And then this one, which is wet and wild, it's a matte lipstick with the color cherry picking. And then we got my Lip Smacker Hello Kitty Lip Gloss. So what I do is I go in with the Love It Cream, just all around, rub it together. And I go in with the cherry picking in the middle, like that. And then I smooth it out with my finger because I like the gradient look. Then you go in with your mascara and put it all over your face. I'm joking. Then, gl uh, lip gloss. And just put it all over. Then you get your setting spray, which is, mine is L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Spray Set. And I just do two squirts. Now this is scary. I hate doing this every time, but you gotta brace yourself. And then just fan it dry. And bam, that's the makeup. So now I'm gonna take out my rollers. Whoa, look at how that turns out. It's so fluff. I'm gonna put this special shine thing in it. I just put this stuff in my hair because I think it makes it look cool. This is the final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You can do exactly what I did. You can just copy exactly what I did. I don't care. You want to take some things, spin it a little, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, do that. Bye. And then I widen my eyebrows, or I raise my eyebrows. So let's, so now we're cutting. Huh? Is that cringe? I don't know. Don't live in a world. Wait, what? Don't live in a world where you cringe. Live in a world where cringe doesn't affect you. I don't remember the saying. Maybe it's just because I haven't... Something in my ear.